Welcome to the era of agentic AI. In the rapidly evolving world of artificial intelligence, something new is emerging, agentic AI. Unlike traditional AI that merely processes data and provides outputs, agentic AI can understand, think, and take actions on behalf of users. Recently, Google unveiled Gemini 2.0, a groundbreaking AI model that exemplifies the potential of agentic AI, and soon OpenAI, the company responsible for the popular model ChatGPT, will be releasing their agent dubbed Operator, and set to be released later, our project Astra, Mariner, and Jules. These developments will change the world as you know it. You are now in the third wave of AI, agentic AI. Gemini 2.0. Google's model to welcome you to what they call the agentic era can perform tasks that once seemed impossible. Agentic AI is still in its early stages of development, but so far, here is what it can do. The evolution of artificial intelligence has unfolded in three debatable waves of innovation. In the first wave, predictive AI emerged as a powerful tool, empowering businesses to anticipate future trends and make informed, data-backed decisions. An example of this is Amazon using AI to suggest products you might like based on your past purchases. Following this came the second wave with the rise of generative AI like ChatGPT, a breakthrough that enabled machines to create novel content and engage in surprisingly human-like conversations. You could generate images, video, and audio. Now, a new tide is rising. Genic AI poised to transform the landscape by granting AI systems the autonomy to not only think and create, but to act, executing tasks independently and even collaborating with other AI agents. Imagine having a digital coworker who can understand you perfectly and help you with your tasks. Think of something close to Jarvis from Iron Man. It can process multiple types of input, including text, images, audio, and video, and generate corresponding outputs. This is known as a multimodal AI. Let's put this in simple terms. What does this look like practically? It means it can watch and understand a video much like a human would. Imagine a robot friend sitting beside you watching a basketball game. This friend, powered by Gemini 2.0, can not only see the players and the ball, but also comprehend the game's dynamics. It can identify players, track their movements, and even anticipate their next move based on their positions and the game's context similar to humans. Gemini, what is happening in this video? LeBron James is dribbling the ball down the court, guarded by Stephen Curry. James is driving towards the basket. He's likely to attempt a layup or pass to a teammate. The Warriors are double-teaming James, forcing him to pass the ball. This is a classic defensive strategy. The crowd is going wild. It seems James just scored a three-pointer. This ability doesn't just exist for uploaded videos, but also with live video. It can process live video as it's happening and talk to you about what is happening where you are. The same way a human is seeing the outside world and communicating with it. Hey Gemini. Hey there, what's on your mind today? Can you see what I'm showing you? Yes, I can see the video you're showing me. It looks like you have an espresso machine. Yeah, I'm new to this machine and I'm having trouble grinding beans. Can you help me out? Sure, I can help with that. What seems to be the issue with grinding the beans? I'm used to espresso machines that have a grind button, but this one doesn't. How can I grind the beans with this machine? Ah, I see. Well, based on the video, it looks like you need to press the portafilter against the button beneath the grinder to start the grinding process. Have you tried that? No, I haven't. Okay, give that a try and let me know what happens. Sometimes these machines have quirky little ways of working. Okay, I see that the grinder activated. Is it grinding the beans to your liking? Yeah, looks great. Thanks, Gemini. You're welcome. Happy brewing and let me know if you need anything else. Or perhaps you have a picture and want to find where it appears in a video. It has the ability to scan the entire video and tell you exactly what time the image you are searching for was found, and describe what objects are in that image and what actions are happening. With just one prompt, it gives you detailed descriptions, like 
one of the foxes climbs on the rock. Mountain Lion walks through the forest in black and white. Mountain Lion, it even figures out in this shot that the foxes are playing with each other. So you can use this tool to quickly perfect. Say you have a wall of post-it notes from a brainstorm that you need to manually transcribe and organize one by one. You could take a quick video sticky notes. We ran this prompt and Gemini 2.0 Flash transcribed all of them in just a few seconds. You can even ask the model to sort them into categories and put it in a table. The model looks across all the names, comes up with possible categories, and sorts them for you, with lots of screen recordings like this one that you have to manually comb through. With just one prompt, the model can describe all the actions in your video. It gives you exact time codes of user events, like clicking, scrolling, and more. You can share your computer screen with it and have a conversation with it back and forth as it guides you on what steps to take. Yes, I see your screen. It's showing a document with the title, Demo. It also contains bullet points and a Google Meet window with a person in the video. Is there anything in particular you would like to talk about on the screen? Yeah, can you start the demo by just reading the text I highlighted? Sure, I can do that. The text you highlighted reads, The Multimodal Live API lets you build real-time multimodal applications powered I see that you are looking for the YouTube thumbnail option. In the popular section, on the first row, fourth option from the left, there's an icon that says YouTube thumbnail. You can, it can give you that. strategy in video games. Where do you recommend I attack from on this base? Given the base layout, I recommend attacking from the bottom or south side. This direction allows you to target the town hall directly with your giants, while the wizards can handle the surrounding defenses. And one of the most remarkable aspects is its enhanced memory. Instead of starting from scratch every time you engage with it, it's like picking up a conversation with a friend where you left off. It remembers your preferences, your interests, and even the nuances of your previous exchanges. And when it speaks back to you, it doesn't sound like those robotic voices of the past. Google is launching multilingual native audio, allowing the AI agent to speak in a very human tone with distinctions, whispers, emotions, all of it. And it has the ability to switch and speak different languages. Okay, so I'm starting out speaking English, but then, maintenant, je parle français. What's even more astounding is it has the ability to detect your context. For example, if you were in the library and you whispered, what time will this library close? It would respond to you in a whisper, detecting that you were in a quiet place and didn't want to make noise, or if you were rushing to catch the bus and you spoke very fast, it would speak speedily as well to give you the information quickly. Maybe if it seems like you're in a rush, your agent can speak really, 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 really quickly. Or depending on your age and manner of speech, it might speak to you in the style of a millennial's speech pattern. You can prompt it to just be like, dude, you know, just totally chill. If you were an elderly person, it might adjust its voice to speak to you in a slow manner of speech in a British accent or prompt it to speak with oh so very many dramatic pauses. How exactly is it doing this? Agenic AI systems are typically composed of three main components. A perception system that allows the AI to perceive its environment. A decision-making system that allows the AI to make decisions about how to act. An action system that allows the AI to take actions in the environment. These components work together to allow the AI to act as an agent. They can see, hear, think, plan, and remember in real time. This is pretty astounding. So what other areas of our society will it affect? In education, it can provide personalized learning experiences, adapt to students' needs, and offer real-time feedback. This may mean the end of tutoring services. There are people paying monthly subscriptions to tutoring services online and in person. If you were in the position to have an AI tutor speak to you in a language you prefer, the style of speech you prefer, with the examples you prefer, at the time and place you prefer, on any subject, why would you get tutoring services? These are some of the questions an educationogenic AI is right, going dude, to bring. So like a quantum computer, right? 
It's not your grandpa's calculator, man. It's like totally next level. Instead of just zeros and ones, it uses these things called qubits, which are like zero, one, and everything. So what else can it do? Many things. It can tell you the ingredients of food by just looking at a picture of it in one second and give you the recipe for how to make it. These developments are going to affect the creator economy as well. A lot of YouTube content is about showing people how to do things. Your washing machine isn't working. You go online and search for a tutorial video. You watch for three minutes only to discover you have a different model. Alternatively, the AI agent can watch a live video of your device and in two seconds identify the make and model and walk you through step by step what to do. This is a generational shift that you are witnessing. Economically, Agentic AI is set to drive a wave of innovation and create new industries starting from this moment. This is just the beginning. You can imagine the possibilities. 10, 20 years from now in healthcare, you can imagine what this will be like in the future. Agentic AI could assist in surgeries, providing surgeons with real-time information, and even adjusting surgical robots for optimal precision. It's like having a super-powered assistant in the operating room. It could assist in diagnosing diseases and personalizing treatments. Imagine a patient facing a complex tumor removal, a delicate procedure where the tumor's proximity to vital organs demands utmost precision. This is where a genic AI could step onto the surgical stage, transforming the operating room. Before the first incision, the AI agent could meticulously analyze the patient's medical scans, CTs, MRIs, constructing a detailed three-dimensional virtual replica of the tumor and the surrounding anatomy. It's like having a perfect digital twin of the patient's internal landscape, then drawing upon a vast library of surgical knowledge, techniques, past cases, research papers. The AI could propose the optimal surgical path. It doesn't stop there. It runs simulations, predicting potential complications, fine-tuning the plan to minimize invasiveness and maximize the chance of complete tumor removal. This is what the future of agentic AI in our world could be. While the potential of agentic AI is immense, it raises many concerns. You might be wondering how many jobs will be lost from innovations like this. Is this going to lead to the unemployment rates to skyrocket around the world? What happens when people can't get jobs because the agents are doing it? How will that affect crime rates? What about privacy? If these agents are storing so much information about you, and there will come a time that it knows more about you than you know about yourself, how will this affect privacy and security? What if someone was able to get a hold of your agent? What if the, the AI possesses biases that humans possess? How will that affect its interaction with users? These are all questions that are now on the table. And is an invention like this even ethical? Many are beginning to question what it truly means to be human. And one of the biggest questions on people's minds is this. What happens when the agent goes crazy and turns against you? Think back to the early 2000s where computer viruses were the order of the day. Can agents get viruses? These are all questions that will have to be answered this decade. And with this, we are another step closer to ASI, what some consider the last level of AI. As of now, these AI agents don't have bodies, like robotic bodies. However, recently the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, said that we are really close to the chat GPT moment for robotics. What does that mean? Think about when chat GPT came out in 2022. It changed everything. AI became easily accessible to everyone. He's saying in the next several years that moment is going to happen for robotics, and it means soon you will see an AI agents inside robots, humanoid robots. What do you think? Are you happy about this progress? Or do you think they need to put a stop to this? In the next video, we're going to interview Gemini and have it speak for itself and find out what it believes about the impact it will have on the world. Agentic A, I will change the world as we know it. And the change has already begun. If you found this interesting, subscribe to our channel to explore all the whys of the world and hit the like button to stay updated on our future content. See you in the next one.